if I press the power button, the computer starts and the LED goes to on. In this project, I create a website in which you can start your computer from all over the world. In the next scenes, I show step by step how to create this. You need a breadboard, a Raspberry Pi 4 and a 5 volt relay. First, I put a wire from pin 6 on the Raspberry Pi to breadboard minus. Then a wire from pin 4, 5 volt of the Raspberry Pi to the breadboard plus. Now a cable from pin 16 on the Raspberry Pi to the breadboard row 15. Now from the relay in 1 and 2 to pin 3 and 5 on the Raspberry Pi. Now from relay ground to the ground on the breadboard. From the relays VCC or 5 volt pin to the plus on the breadboard. Add a 1K pull up resistor between row 15 and row 20 on the breadboard. Now add a 10K pull down resistor between row 20 and row 25 on the breadboard. Add the power LED plus cable on row 20 on the breadboard. And the power LED minus on row 25. Now you have to put a wire from row 25 on the breadboard to the ground. Plug in the cables in your relay on the normally open circuit. On out 1 and out 2. Plug in these pins in the power LED minus and plus like mentioned before. Plug in both cables in the power and reset buttons on your mainboard. You can look up the pins in your mainboard manual. Now you can insert your microSD card into your computer. Press Windows R. Enter disk part. List the disks. Here you can see it's this one with 30 GB. Select disk 4. Clean the disk. Exit disk part. Open your browser. Go into Raspberry Pi download page. Download for Windows. Press on the image exe. Click install. Finish and run. Select OS. Press on Raspberry Pi OS Lite 46 bit. Select the SD card. Press on the settings icon. Here you can set some options so you don't have to connect the display. First I activate SSH. Now I set a password. Click on Setup Wi-Fi. Enter your SSID. Enter the password. Select your country. and press save. Click on right. Yes.
Now you can plug in your SD card into your Raspberry Pi. To find your Raspberry Pi on the local network, you can use the software Angry IP Scanner. You can press and start. And now you will see raspberrypi.local. Now you can connect to your Raspberry Pi. With the selected password. First you have to update the system. Now you have to install Git. As a web server, I used Apache Tube with PHP. I can now delete the default index.html page. I will now navigate to the default web directory. Here I can clone my git repository hosted on github. Now I must set the right permissions. Now I must modify the virtual host for the remote I.O. On document root I must add slash web. Ctrl O, enter, Ctrl X, reload Apache. Now we have to give the web user the right permissions to execute the Python files. Go to the floor and paste the four lines in the description. I made a line for every comment that is used, for security reasons. Now I create a service for the isup.py file. Here I can paste the text from the description for the service data. Ctrl O, Enter, Ctrl X. Now I can enable the service. And start it. Now everything is finished. You can access the remote I.O. from the browser. And now as you can see, if I press the power button, the computer starts and the LED goes to on. If I press the power button 5 seconds long, the computer turns off. Because the computer reads the power LED, the LED changes if I use the regular power button. Without any updating of the page. And I can even reset the computer, but you can't see this because there is no monitor connected to it. Thank you.